Well, the warm summer evenings also create a perfect opportunity to enjoy a meal with friends. In this week's Kiss the Cook, we have a dish that just might become one of your summertime favorites. Take a look. We have a great meal planned for this week's Kiss the Cook. Renee's lifelong friend, Terry Lynn Babb, is back. And Renee, I know you love what Terry Lynn is making for us today. I do. As I've said before, Terry Lynn is quite the entertainer. And tonight, she has got a really great recipe for us for a relative, relatively inexpensive cut of meat. So tell us how you do this, Tio. I'm going to uh, sprinkle this with a little salt and pepper. Now, first, it's a skirt steak. It's a skirt right? steak, Just yes. Skirt and I'm going to add some olive oil to it. That's all you really mm. need to do. A neat trick is to go ahead and season your pan and then put your uh, steak on it so that you just have to season one side and you don't get your hands. Oh, that's oh, brilliant. Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's right. Right. Is this pre-tenderized or you just... No, buy? it's not okay. pre-tenderized. The, the easiest way is to cook it rare. If you cook it rare and let it rest for 10 minutes it's and cut it against the grain, then it'll be great. It'll okay. be, it's, it's perfect. So you prepped that for the grill. I did. Okay, so we're gonna go and put that on the grill, correct? Yes. Okay, But and while that's cooking, we are gonna make this cold avocado corn salad. That's mm. right. I'm gonna have you add the tomatoes. Okay. This has been seasoned with salt, pepper, and a little bit of cumin, a little bit of olive oil. And, and a little lime, a, and, and a little fresh lime. A little fresh lime in it. Mm. Uh, so that's your cilantro, and there's your onions. And cherry tomatoes and, cherry tomatoes. and Shelby taught us how to cut those cherry That's tomatoes exactly in right. half um, and also today I cooked a pot of black beans this way you can cook those on your stovetop or you can cook them uh, in your crock pot and that doesn't uh, heat up your kitchen too much I mean how beautiful is this salad it's gorgeous. oh that is so good okay so we're gonna go out to the grill and check on how things are doing there yeah. <laughs> So we got the steak off the grill, but you're going to prep the cutting board. And this is something I've never heard of. I love learning this. Okay. It's such a pretty presentation when serving yes. it as well to do this. So. Okay, I've covered it with uh, olive oil. You I'm just gonna, drizzled olive oil drizzled. on there. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on there. And I've got all manner of fresh herbs here. I have basil, I have parsley, rosemary, a little bit of oregano, and uh, fresh grated garlic. I see the clumps of garlic in there. Okay, right. so now I'm here. gonna add my meat on top of that. And you always cut against the grain. And as you can see, this is the grain of the meat right here. Okay. So we're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut it this way first and then we'll be slicing it this way against the grain. Okay. And that, that helps to tenderize it. That's why you're able to have such a cheap cut of meat and it's still tender for you. Oh, good tip, okay. So, we're gonna cut it like this. Mm -hmm. Against the grain, Against okay. Against the grain, and see how easily it cuts. I would recommend that you cook it very rare. Okay. Very rare. And it's absorbing all those it herbs is. underneath it there. It is, and I've made mm. a little more to add on top of it. Renee, if you yes, wanna and just. here we've added a little bit, we've used some of her fresh herbs. We've added a little bit of uh, olive oil, a little bit of balsamic and red wine vinegar, a little salt and pepper to just give it a little bit of, a uh, little bit, make it a little bit juicier and give it a little better consistency to put on top of the meat. Mm -mm -mm. So that'll be kind of like the topping for the steak. It will. It's a little bit like a gramolta, girls. I'm not sure if that's really the way yeah. you say that or. We're going for it. But we're going for it. We're that's what we're sure. doing. And before you serve it, uh, Renee, if you'll sprinkle that Sweet on it. And kind of just sprinkle right. a little bit of this right down the center yeah, here. There you go. Yum, oh, ladies. Little. Squirt of that and another tiny dash of olive oil. That is scrumptious. Okay, so here's your challenge for the summer. Make this, invite people over, have guests, at grill out, and just enjoy a wonderful summer meal. It looks fabulous. This is amazing. Thank you, girls. Thanks for coming to my home. We love it.